For your first practical, you should have downloaded some zip archives. And one of them is called First Assembly. So if we right click that, go to 7-zip and extract here. So in this folder, you'll find an assembly project file, usually a green icon, and the type is Microvision 5 Project. So we open that, and that runs Keel Microvision 5, the IDE we use for developing embedded ARM projects. On the left, we have our project uh, organizer, if you like, and in this area, we have our source. We need to be looking at assembly.s, which is a very simple piece of assembly language which you're going to try. So there are a few things we need to check before we start. Well, first of all, we need to plug in our embedded development board with its USB interface. That might make a sound, and typically an Explorer window will pop up. We can just close that for now. Next, we need to just make sure that a few of the settings are correct. So here we have the options for the target, the target being the board we've just plugged in. We make sure that the device is set to this STM32F401, the RE version. So if that's not correct, you need to change that. Then under debug, you need to make sure that this says ST Link Debugger. If it doesn't, drop this down and select it. Then we go into the settings. The debug area here, make sure these settings are the same. So connect under reset, reset auto detect, and select reset after connect. Again, we're using this SD link. Then to flash download, this should either say 5112 kilobytes of flash or maybe 256, depending on version of software. If neither of those are there, click add and pick one of those I've just mentioned. So that's 256 or 512 kilobytes of flash. And then we click OK. That should have you up and ready. So now when you hit build here, which is this button, that rebuilds everything. From then on, we just click build, which is F7 to build what we've changed. And you should get no errors down here. Program size, 164 bytes. OK. Now, in assembly.s, we see this label reset. I want you to set a breakpoint here if it's not already there. So you simply click in the margin, make sure there's a red dot. Now we're ready to debug. So what this will do, this button here, control or control F5, click that, and that will now deploy the code over the USB interface to the target board. And it will run to the first instruction and stop like so. So here we are at the first instruction. Now we're not looking at the initialization code, we're not interested in that. I want you to run to the first breakpoint. So we go up here or press F5 and that gets us to this first instruction. Now you've got the disassembly window and you've got the assembly source code. I want you to make sure that the disassembly window is selected. So what's the first one? Move the literal constant 0 into register R0. Now currently R0 over here is set to hex FF. So if we step over this line, which is also F10, we see the registers affected highlighted in blue. So the program counter, that will always be affected typically. And R0 has been set to 0. Now the yellow arrow shows you the next instruction to run, which is to say R0 equals R0 plus 1. So we step over that, and no surprise, R0 gets set to 1. We now compare R0 with 9. Notice that the status register here has changed, the program status register, because we've done a compare. And now we do a branch if not equal. In other words, does it equal to 9? If it's not, branches to this address, 1C8. So on the left here we have the addresses, so this is 1C8 here. This is the actual machine code. This is what the computer understands. This is the assembly language equivalent, which is what we understand. So when we step again, it's not equal to 9, so we expect it to branch. OK? And you can carry on like that. So that's an overview of Keel 
and if you get any other problems, see the lab supervisor.